Hello viewers, so welcome to my channel. I'm Hashem Ali Khan. So far, four problems I have completed on assignment. So comparatively, I told you these problems are very, very easy compared to other transportation problems or simplex method. So the procedure, the algorithm of assignment problems given by Hungarian mathematician D. Koenig is very simple. First step, row subtraction. Second step, uh, column subtraction. Then we have to draw minimum number of lines to cover up all the zeros, all these things. So if you want the perfect knowledge, watch all the videos from beginning till end. Then only you can get full confidence and by practicing, you can easily do the problem. Now before starting the fifth problem, I expect my viewers to have a printout of the problems which I have given in the link under my description. So fifth problem, see carefully. In a textile sales emporium, four salesmen A, B, C, D, E are available to four, to four customers W, X, Y, Z. To four counters W, X, Y, Z. Each salesman can handle any counter. The service in hours of each counter when manned by each salesman is given below. So service is time. So our objective is to minimize the time. How should the salesman be allocated to appropriate counters so as to minimize the service time? Each salesman must handle only one counter. Exactly similar problem, minimization problem. We have to find out which counter should be given to which salesman. First of all, the first step is subtracting the rows, subtracting the smallest element in each row from the corresponding element of that row. So first row you can see 41, 72, 39, 52. 39 is the minimum. So 41 minus 39. 41 minus 39 it comes to 2. So I am writing down here 2. Then 72 minus 39. 72 minus 39 it comes to 33. Next comes 39 minus 39. 0. 52 minus 39, 52 minus 39, it comes to 30. First row completed. Second row minimum 22, 29, 49, 65. 22 is minimum. So 22 to minus 22, 0. 29 minus 22, you'll get 7. Then we have 49 minus 22, 49 minus 22, you will get 27. Then we have 65 minus 22, 65 minus 22, 43. Second row completed. Third row, 27, 39, 60, then 51. 27 is minimum. So 27 minus 27, 0. 39 minus 27, you will get 12. Then you have 60 minus 27, 60 minus 27, you will get 33. The last one 51 minus 27, you will get 24. Three rows completed. Last 45, 50, 48, 52. 45 is minimum. So 0. 50 minus 45 is 5. 48 minus 45 is 3. And 52 minus 45 is 7. 52 minus 45 is equal to 7. That's all. Row subtraction completed. Now second step is column subtraction and drawing minimum number of lines. First column, the minimum is 0. When you subtract 0, the same values will remain. So 2, 0, 0, 0. Same values. Second column, minimum is 5. So subtract 5. 33 minus 5, you will get 28. Next one. 7 minus 5 is 2. 12 minus 5 is 7. 12 minus 5 is equal to 7. Then 5 minus 5, 0. Next, 0 is minimum. So same values will be there. 0, 27, 33 and last one is 3. Last column, 7 is minimum. So 13 minus 7, you will get 6. Then you have 43 minus 7, you will get 36. Next one, 24 minus 7, you will get 17. Last one, 7 minus 7, 0. That's it. 
so row subtraction completed column subtraction completed now drawing minimum number of lines so you see here first three zeros we can cover up either in this row or in this column so what i am doing three zeros i am covering up in a single line now two zeros are there in this last row so two zeros are covered up only one zero is left either vertically or horizontally any way you can draw so i am taking vertical so how many lines all the zeros are covered three lines number of lines are three order of the matrix is four four by four that means when the number of lines are not equal to order of matrix it is not optimal the solution is not optimal the number of lines are not equal to order of matrix so optimum solution is not reached now the next step step number 3 that is the smallest uncovered element the smallest uncovered element is now in this table the smallest uncovered element is 2 subtract 2 from uncovered elements and add 2 at the point of intersection keeping other values same again drawing the minimum lines again drawing the minimum lines to cover up all the zeros now this step will be applied whenever number of lines are not equal to the order of the matrix then here in this table what is the smallest uncovered element is 2 So subtract two from uncovered elements. Add two at the point of intersection, keeping the other values same. So first row two as it is two because it is covered one. Twenty eight minus two twenty six. Then zero covered same value. Six minus two four. Second zero as it is. Two minus two zero. Twenty seven as it is. Thirty six minus two thirty four. Third row. Zero as it is. Seven minus two five. Thirty three as it is. Seventeen minus two is fifteen, right? Then zero plus two is two because intersection is there. Zero as it is covered. Then three plus two five. Then zero as it is. That's all. Now again we have to draw the minimum number of lines so as to cover up all the zeros. the so column wise two zeros one two zeros one zero one zero the so maximum two zeros in columns rows one zero two zeros one zero two zeros so either you go by row or column two two zeros are there so what we'll do we'll take uh, this two zeros right and we'll take this two zeros two zeros two zeros got cancelled now two zeros are remaining here one zero here one zero at two different locations so we can cancel either horizontally or vertically any way you like so this horizontal line and this is vertical line any way you can draw so how many lines are there in how many lines you have covered up all the zeros four lines so number of lines are four order of matrix four therefore optimum solution is reached optimum solution is reached the optimum assignments are as follows the optimum assignments are as follows in the next table we have to make the assignment right same values will copy to Then zero zero two zero zero two. Here twenty six zero five and zero. 
जीरो ट्वेंटी सेवन थर्टी थ्री फाइव फोर थर्टी फोर फिफ्टीन एंड जीरो नाउ वाइल मेकिंग द असाइनमेंट चेक इन एनी रो वेदर वी हैव सिंगल जीरो दैट जीरो शुड बी असाइन फर्स्ट इन द फर्स्ट रो इट सेल्फ यू कैन फाइन ओनली वन जीरो तो मेक दैट असाइनमेंट this is the assignment cancel the other zeros in that column and row no other zero in the column no other zero in the row any other column any other row having a single zero yes why why row we have a single zero assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row any other row having a single zero yes x we have single zero assign this zero and cancel the other zeros in that column and row lastly only z row is left one zero is left assign this zero no other zero now you can see all the zeros are either assigned or cancelled there is no uh, un unassigned zero there is no unassigned zero all the zeros are either assigned or cancelled now we reach the solution optimum assignment and time in hours optimum assignment w c then x b y a z d is z equal to now original problem go to the original problem and find out what are the values w to c 39 w to c is 39 then x to b x to b is 29 y to a is 27 z to d is 52 total minimum time is equal to how many hours total minimum time we have to find out so here 39 plus 29 plus 27 plus 52 147 hours that's it this is the end of problem number 5 so after doing all these problems definitely you will get a good command on this subject so my suggestion watch all the videos every video is important for getting more and more practice on this operation research technique ap inshallah we'll continue the next problem in the next video